Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from today's iPhone.com and I'm sorry for this weird background and lighting and stuff But I'm home for spring break. Yay! But unfortunately that means I don't have any of my lighting stuff with me. Ah, and my lighting stuff is Well, well, it's a lamp, but <laughs> it's not here So we'll have to make do with this, but you really don't care about that You just want to talk about the news and there's a lot of news to talk about so let's get started All right, first and foremost as I'm sure you already know Apple announced the new iPad the new Apple TV and iOS 5.1 at an event on March 7th uh, I'm not gonna talk about it much right now just because I made a whole separate video on that so I can link to that in the description down below and then somewhere on the screen right here. But definitely click on that if you want a more detailed view of, you know, everything that Apple went over. But just really quickly, the new Apple TV has 1080p support, it's got an updated UI and it now has an A5 single core chip in it, which is nice. Uh, iOS 5.1 came out, it's available now over the air or through iTunes. Changes the lock screen a little bit, puts the camera slider right there uh, next to the unlock slider, always, so there's that. And uh, Siri for Japanese support should be rolling out soon, and then it's also supposed to fix some battery issues and bugs and that kind of stuff. And the new iPad is a Retina display, A5X processor, 5 megapixel camera, voice dictation, oh, and 4G connectivity, which is awesome. So overall, it's a pretty solid update. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that Apple, you know, announced that it was going to be a personal hotspot like the iPhone 4S, which is super cool, except not on AT&T. It's weird though because it's so unlike AT&T to be the wet blanket at the party, right? Am I right? Am I right? Nah, I'm wrong. That's a lie. It's totally, totally like them. Um, so yeah, if you're on AT&T, you will not get the personal hotspot feature on the new iPad now. Uh, a spokesperson on Twitter said that they could maybe enable it later on and they tweeted out to us when they did or if they did, which, you know, they might not because that whole thing about them being a wet blanket. Okay, next in accessory news, I want to tell you guys about a really cool screen protector Cam checked out called the Spigen... Sp... Spigen Glass Tempered Glass Screen Protector. <laughs> okay, so as I'm sure you know, most screen protectors are, you know, flimsy pieces of plastic that are incredibly infuriating to put on your device, and there's bubbles, if it's uneven, then it comes off, you know, it's, it's a lot of effort and a lot of work to be putting into a tiny piece of plastic. But, if you want to put that effort into in a, a tiny piece of glass instead, you should definitely check this out. So what sets this screen protector apart from all the other ones out there is that it's not actually plastic, it's a... 0.4 millimeter thin piece of tempered glass that sticks to your iPhone's display. Uh, now this has a couple really cool applications. First of all, it doesn't give you that annoying uh, feeling when you have a screen protector on your phone. It feels just like you're using the screen on your iPhone, which is great. And second of all, it is designed in a way where if it does get hit or dropped with enough force, it's not gonna, you know, shatter or crack your screen or anything. It's gonna break into tiny, tiny little pieces and then uh, dissolve into the universe and become stars. <laughs> no, 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 that's not... well, maybe. It's not gonna, like, break into sharp angles and stab your fingers when you try to type. It's gonna, you know, break into little tiny pieces and not harm the display or you. You know, anytime you add some sort of skin or screen protector to your device that alters the thickness even a little bit, it could mess with the really precisely designed cases. And because this is glass and it's a little bit thicker than most screen protectors are, you could run into some issues there, so definitely take that into consideration. But overall, I think this is a great option for people looking to preserve uh, the Apple design as much as possible while still preserving your investment. And our last story of the day is actually about you guys. Uh, we took a poll on our Facebook page asking those of you who purchased the new iPad, which model you purchased, and out of the 157 of you that answered, 72 of you ordered the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only model, which is definitely by far the most popular. Now this was closely followed by the 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi only model and the 4G model, and yeah, it's just interesting to see which model people are going for. All right, and finally, last week I said that starting this week, I was gonna start highlighting some of your answers to the question of the day, or just some funny comments that I saw. Uh, so without further ado, welcome to the first ever edition of Comment Corner. Now the question I asked last week was, what iPad 3 feature would most surprise you? Of course, we already know what the new iPad, not iPad 3, features are, but it still could be fun to take a look at what you guys were thinking before the event. XX the Boss 562 said 3D iPad. Um, sorry, <laughs> that didn't happen. Save G36 said Kitty Cat. Interesting. A lot of you guys said Siri, and we did sort of get Siri. We got voice dictation, but not full Siri. And 
I mean, that's pretty weird. I don't understand why we didn't get full Siri, but maybe that'll come in an update. The four rascals said 3D and an iPad mini and mini USB. Dude, <laughs> I mean, do you know Apple at all? Come on. A lot of you guys said 3D iPad. Uh, that would be awful, in my opinion. I don't know, I don't know what you guys are thinking. That would be terrible. Alpha Rexable said, I spy with my little eye a mustache near an iPhone. You do indeed, that is a mustache, and congratulations, you're the first person I've seen that's actually pointed that out. I was wondering when somebody would, uh, would notice my mustache on the wall. Not my mustache. God, that would be weird. Could you imagine? No, it's, it's a paper mustache. And we're gonna end with a comment from... Calicid ha uh, and he said iPad 3 will have Glenn, a non-beta version of Siri and a dude voice, lol. Well, it didn't happen yet, but maybe someday, Glenn. Maybe someday. Okay, well that's it for this week, guys, but before I go, I want to leave you with a question of the day, and that is if you did buy a new iPad, or if, let's just say, you were going to, which model would you slash did you buy and why? Personally, I went with the 32 gigabyte 16... Nope, that makes no sense. Personally, I went with the 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi only model. I had the 16 before and, you know, it was a little tight on space, so I up to the 32. I uh, stuck with the Wi-Fi because I don't want to pay a monthly charge, but that's just me. I want to know how you guys feel about this, so let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. And if you have a very insightful or ridiculous comment, you could just be on next week's comment corner. And as always, the links to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below. And for more news, views, and reviews, definitely check out todaysiphone.com. Wow! I'm not, I'm not going to be back. <laughs>